Yes, yes, yes. How we doing, guys? It's Joe, and we are finally on tip number one here. And actually, along the way of putting this little series together, I've come across some other information, other concepts that I uh, had to change. This is actually going to be two tip number one. <laughs> uh, the first one, my original, and I still think it's very, very important, is you need to realize that this business is primarily a people business first. We need to learn to be able to build people. Um, you know, what I see so much of today is everything's focused on, and it's, this is obviously very important to your business, on traffic. And we need customers, we need people coming, quote unquote, coming through the doors, I understand that. But there's so much focus on traffic and the system there's no selling. The system will do it for you. Yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, this tool, that tool, this system, that system. And it's all about just the money. Make the sale, make the sale. You know, you're not building people along the way. You're just taking their money and running. And again, not every system, but I just see a lot of it out there. And that, that's why you see a lot of people having to reinvent themselves every couple months or every year. Because eventually the hype of that system or that tool is going to fade and there's not going to be much there left. So people aren't going to stick around. So they got to start all over. And worse yet, you know, a lot of newbies, a lot of people just starting out, won't even get to that point of being successful and they just quit and try and find something else. They try and find another magic bullet that's going to take them you know, to where they want to go. And needless to say, they don't find it, they just keep going from place to place to place to place. And a lot of that is because they're not learning to build people. You learn to build people, people stick around. And you don't have to jump from place to place. And the next tip is more of a concept, but it kind of flows its way right into this, is you have to really work at this one. This one is probably one of the most difficult things you, you have to do. And it applies to whether it's uh, you know, the home business industry or any other business, or golf or any sport, or whatever it might be, is you have to be able to hold on to your thoughts, your goals, your desires long enough to see the physical reflection of your thoughts, your goals, your desires. Most people never do that. And it's very hard to do. It's hard to keep that focus and that mindset that this is going to work. If you know you're doing the right things, you know you're on the right path, you have to hold on to those thoughts, those goals, those desires, without ever seeing the physical reflection of that. And that's very, very difficult. That's another reason why people quit and hop from place to place. And it doesn't just apply to this business. It applies in many areas of life. I, I, if you just think of how many people have failed at different things, but have gone on to be very, very successful. I mean, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team, if you can imagine that. What happened to him? Do you think he held on to his thoughts and his desires before he ever saw a physical reflection of it? I think so. I mean, how many times did Edison fail? <laughs> okay, I mean, you, there's tons and tons of stories of how many times people have failed, but they hold on to their thoughts and desires until they see the physical reflection or realization of those goals and desires. I see it day to day in what I do. I'm a golf professional. Yeah, if you look into my stuff, you know that. And I see it all the time with people in golf. They run out and they want to buy a game. Right? Newest system, newest tools, whatever it might be. There's some parallels here. So they buy this you know, $600 titanium square-headed driver, thinking this is going to be the cure-all to their slice and add 20 yards to their drive, whatever it might be. So they buy the driver, we get the right shaft, we get the right loft, and all this fun stuff. And they work with me, and I help them with their swing. And me, as their eyes, okay, I can see things are changing. 
I can see the path of their swing change, the shape of their swing change. I can see the ball starting to curve a different way or it's not curving as much to the right. And eventually, hopefully, I get them to hook it. Now it's in the left woods instead of the right woods. <laughs> but it's different and I know it's the right thing to do to get them eventually to, to be straight. And now what happens is the student does not see the physical realization of this goal or this desire that he has to hit the, you know, a nice little draw down the middle of the fairway. So what does he do? He goes out and buys another club. Buys another driver, thinking that it's the driver or the system, right? Go back to the business world. That is the system. Okay, well, worst case scenario, they go find another instructor. Now, luckily, that doesn't happen too often because also as an instructor, we learn to build people. We build relationships. So they know I'm genuinely trying to help them. It's not me. Okay, we, I've grown to become quite friendly with a lot of my students. Okay, so luckily they don't change instructors too often. Every now and again they do, and that's fine because not everybody's going to click with everybody, and that's understood. But the same principle of building people is also applicable in the golf world as much as it is in the home business world. So as you can see, both of these quote unquote tips or concepts apply to much more than just what we're talking about in this industry. So, you know, I hope you take the time to get your head around both of these concepts and both of these tips. And if you do, I think you'll definitely see a change in your business or anything else that you apply these to. Um, but it's going to take some patience. It's going to take some patience. This is not, and, you know, if you go into, get into any of these things thinking it's a get rich quick overnight deal, you're just setting yourself up for failure, disappointment, and hopping from place to place to place. And I just would love to see more and more people just not have to do that. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And I hope all these tips were of some use to you. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.